Hi, I'm Laurel Airlane with Be Fit. Today's restorative practice will be focused on easing tension in the low back. To begin, let's find a comfortable cross-legged position, crossing with your right shin in front of your left, flex through your feet. Extend your right arm out to the right, put a soft bend through the right elbow. As you inhale, extend the left arm up and over your ear. From here, spiral the pinky side of your palm down and just shift your gaze toward the right side of your space. From here, some of you might even be able to lower down onto your forearm. If that feels like it's too much for you, just keep it lifted. Take one more full deep inhale. As you exhale, contract through the navel, come all the way up. Good, coming straight to the other side, soft bend through that left elbow, right arm reaches up and over. From here, spiral the pinky side of the palm inward, and then put a soft bend in your lower arm and gaze down toward the left side of the space. Feel the stretch and length all across the right side of the neck. Some of you might be able to lower all the way down onto your forearm, feeling that side body lengthen. Take one more big inhale here. As you exhale, come back through center. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale as you hinge your body forward. Come up high into your fingertips, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just let your head and neck melt down in their own weight. Now, not forcing anything, you might be able to release your head and the neck down so far that you come in contact with the floor. Good, take one more full deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly start to come up. Good, and then just change the crossing of your legs. Take your right hand back behind you and your left hand to the top of that right knee. Inhale, side body lengthens. Exhale as you twist, gazing over your shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you can just allow that right ear to hang in its own weight. So you stretch all along the left side body. Take one more deep inhale. And then exhale, unwind, come back through center. Moving straight to the other side, your left hand comes back behind you. Right hand comes to the top of that left knee. Inhale, side body lengthens. Exhale as you twist, gazing over that back shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, allow that left ear to hang toward the left shoulder. Good, one more deep inhale. As you exhale, unwind, come back through center. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale as you hinge and fold forward. Good, let your head and neck drop down. Take a couple of breaths. Maybe the head touches down toward the floor. When you're ready, slowly start to walk your hands in. And let's transition onto our back. So for today's practice, a block and a strap will be useful. If you don't have a block, you can use a heavy book or pillow, or a belt will be good for a strap as well. From here, slowly coming all the way onto your back, bending through your knees, grab a hold of your strap or maybe your belts, and loop your strap around that right leg. Arms will come alongside your body, soften your shoulders down the back. Good, you can either stay here or maybe extend the left leg forward. Take a few full deep breaths right here, breathing into the back of the hamstring. On every inhale, keep pressing energy out that right heel. On every exhale, draw the right toes a little bit closer toward you. Good, keep sending your conscious breath all the way down the back of that right leg. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, both ends of the strap come into that right hand. Your left hand will come to the top of the left hip and allow your right leg to move all the way over to the right. Allowing that right leg to hang in its own weight, just start to breathe into the low back. Good, let's take a couple more full deep breaths right here. Feeling the length through that inner thigh. This asymmetrical movement is really good for a healthy low back. One more deep breath in. 
As you exhale, gently come back through center. Good, take both ends of the strap into the left hand. Your right hand will come to your right hip. Start to flex through that right foot and then allow that right leg to move over to the left just about five inches here. You're starting to get into the IT band that runs from the outer knee to the base of the hip. Let's take a couple more full deep breaths right here. Good, inhale, gently come back through center. As you exhale, go ahead and bend through that right knee and bend through the left knee as well. Good, now moving straight to the left side, extend the left leg straight up into the air. If this feels like it's enough for you, you can stay here. Or some of you will choose to extend your right leg straight. Good, take a deep breath in. Pressing your heel up toward the ceiling. As you exhale, start to draw your left toes a little bit closer toward your nose. Good, one more full deep inhale here. As you exhale, take both ends of the strap into your left hand. Your right hand will come to your right hip. Flex through your left foot and allow your left leg to move toward the left side of your space. Good, try and keep that right sit bone grounded and breathe into that inner left thigh. Let's take one more full deep breath in. As you exhale, gently come back through center. Now both ends of the strap come into your right hand. Your left hand grounds that left hip bone down and you just need about five inches over to the right. Breathing into that outer IT band, which runs from the back of your hip toward your knee. As you exhale, gently unwind, come back through center, releasing the strap now off to the side. Good, from here, draw your right knee in toward your chest, flex through your left foot and lift your left leg up. And then like a pendulum, just start to swing the left leg a little bit from side to side. Now from here, you're getting into your hip flexors and you're also getting into your quadratus laborum, your low back. Good, one more big breath in. And then as you exhale, draw the left knee to meet the right. Keep the left knee hugging in, extend the right leg long. Good, same thing, like a pendulum, just start to move that right leg to the left and to the right. Keep the low belly pulling in toward the center. Good, let's take one more full deep inhale here. As you exhale, draw your knees back in and then extend your legs wide apart. From here, interlace your hands behind your neck, all but your thumbs. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to bring your knee and your elbow a little bit closer together. Good, inhale through center. Exhale, moving to the left. So you're laterally bending from side to side. Good, inhale center. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to the left. Just one more each side. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center. And exhale left. Inhale, come back through center. As you exhale, gently release. Now draw your knees in toward your chest and grab a hold of your block. Placing your block between your knees, flex through your feet and start to press your thigh bones forward. Your arms will extend out like a T. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, use your core, start to twist your legs over to the right. The head and neck can remain neutral. Let the legs hover. Good, inhale, come through center. Exhale to the left. Keep squeezing the block. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more each side. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Good, from here, inhale through center. Exhale, release your arms alongside the body, and then just tap your heels down to the floor. 
Good, from here, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, contract through the navel, extend your arms forward, draw your knees in toward your nose. Inhale, tap your heels down, let your head and neck drop down. Exhale as you coil and lift, that's two, we're doing 10. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Stay with your breath, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, that's four. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Five, halfway there, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, six. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, seven. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, eight, two more, inhale. Exhale, nine. Last one, inhale. Exhale, 10. Good, from here, release your feet down. Keep pressing down into your palms and pick your hips up into the air. Keep squeezing the block. Start to flex through your right foot and lift your right leg straight up into the air. Keep pressing down through your palms. Keep drawing everything in. Again, you're getting into your quadratus laborum that lines the low back, right? So it's really good to help stabilize your low back. One more big inhale here. Exhale, release the right foot down and then move straight to the left, flexing through that left foot. Good, keep lifting the hips up higher. Try not to squeeze the glutes here, but draw everything in toward the midline. One more big inhale. As you exhale, gently bend the knee and release, slowly rolling down. Good, from here, draw your knees into your chest. Release the block, your feet will come right back down where they were. Pick the hips up and place the block at either level one or level two underneath the hips. From here, just take a supported bridge pose and pause right here. Allow for the space that is created at the sacrum, the low spine. Just let the head and neck remain really nice and neutral. Take a few full deep breaths right here. Good, from here, as you're ready, start to draw your right knee and then your left knee in and extend your legs straight up into the air. So just taking a mild inversion, Viparita Karani. If you feel unstable at all, you can always grab a hold of the outside edges of the mat or just keep pressing your palms down into the earth. Good, just take a couple more breaths as you feel the lactic fluids melting down from the legs. One more big inhale here. As you exhale, bending your knees, release your feet down, pick your hips up, remove the block. Good, and from here, go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. Keep your right knee hugging in, flatten the left foot down, flex through that right foot, Extend your arms like a T, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, start to twist over to the right. So finding that figure four. If you like, you can switch your gaze to the left. Just breathe as deeply as you can into the side body. You can allow that left hip to lift up off the ground. Good, from here, inhale, come back through center, and then we'll twist to the other side. From here, pick the hips up and twist. Now both knees move over to the left. Your left hand can help guide that right knee down. Now you switch your gaze to the right. So the gaze is toward that right middle finger. Twists are really good for a healthy spine. Let's take one more big inhale here. Good, exhale, gently come back through center. Draw your knees in. Release your right foot down. Flex through your left foot. Allow the left knee to move out to the left. From here, both knees will move toward the left side of your space, using that left ankle to draw that right knee down. Your right arm can come out to the right. You can gaze toward your right. Just take a couple of breaths right here. As you can see, your right hip is slightly lifted. That's what you want. One more big inhale. Good, exhale, gently come back through center. Flatten out through that right foot. Pick the hips up and then now twist both knees over to the right. Your right hand comes to the top of the left knee. Your left arm 
it moves out to the left gaze to that center left finger and just breathe into the low back. And again, just take a few full deep breaths right here. Sending the breath right into the area as you feel the tension releasing. One more big inhale. As you exhale, gently come back through center. Good, draw your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath in and pause. See if you can sip in just a little bit more air. And then as you exhale, gently release. Find Shavasana. Flip the palms up and just completely surrender. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. If you're feeling rested, start to walk your knees in. Gently roll off to one side. Pause there for just a moment in fetal pose, letting the energy settle. As you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, start to press the body up. Come back to a comfortable cross-legged position and bring the hands to the center of the chest. Beautiful work. Thank you so much for joining me here on Be Fit. If you'd like to learn more about my teachings, please feel free to visit my website, yoginilaurel.com. I hope your low back is feeling nice and open and you have a wonderful rest of your day.